Here is a summary for respiration of glucose. It's typically written here, as in this first equation, that glucose, the six carbon sugar, is oxidized by six molecules of molecular oxygen to six molecules of carbon dioxide and six molecules of water. While this is a properly balanced chemical equation, it doesn't really tell you what is happening in terms of oxidation and reduction reactions. For instance, we note that we have 12 oxygen atoms here labeled in red. The molecular oxygen, these 12 oxygen atoms, are going to be accepting electrons. They're going to be reduced to form water. But as this equation is written, here we have 12 oxygen atoms here on the left side, and we have only 6 oxygen atoms in 6 molecules of water on the right side. And this would lead you to think that some of the molecules, some of the oxygen atoms from gaseous oxygen actually end up in CO2, but that's not the case. None of these oxygen atoms from molecular oxygen end up in carbon dioxide. So where do they come from? Well, this second equation here is a more complete e equation that shows you a more accurate picture of what's going on. Here what we see is that these oxygen atoms, the 12 oxygen atoms, turn into 12 molecules of water. So what we end up is we have water on both sides of the equation. So if we subtract six molecules of water from both sides of the equation, then we end up with a top equation, which is sort of a summary balanced equation. But again, the second equation gives you a much more accurate picture of what's going on. Here we can also see that the six carbon atoms then are oxidized and turn into the six carbon atoms of uh, CO2. And then these oxygen atoms here, the 12 oxygen atoms, half of them come from the six oxygen atoms in glucose, and half of them come from the six oxygen atoms in six molecules of water. So that leaves us with the hydrogens. There's 12 hydrogens here, another 12 hydrogens here, and these 12 hydrogens become the 24 hydrogens in the water, in the 12 water molecules. Okay. So in summary, what's happening in terms of respiration of glucose is that all the carbon atoms are oxidized to carbon dioxide. The gaseous molecular oxygen is reduced, meaning accept electrons, to become water molecules. And the electrons are transferred from glucose to oxygen via an electron shuttle um, called NADH. And they're transported in the form of hydrogens.